Hey, what's up, YouTube? Best and West here, and today I'm gonna to be telling you guys, or like giving you guys an idea on how to clean these N64 cartridges. Um, N64 or any cartridges in general. Um, people back then used to write their names to show ownership of their games uh, on the cartridge somewhere, and also sometimes they just get a little dirty. And from my experiences, I have learned that cleaning them is well I like my cartridges clean so I always try to clean them when I can I picked these games up from a guy named Zach uh, shout out to him if he's watching but pretty much I got these cartridges and a couple more um, for a pretty good deal he gave me a really good deal on them so I'm gonna clean the name off of this one there's some dirt and some stuff on this one along with this one so I'm gonna clean them up and I'm gonna show you how I clean them let's go Okay, so as you can see, there's permanent marker right here, and it looks like someone tried to erase it or get it rid of it already. People, I've tried uh, isopropyl alcohol and some other things, but what I found to be the most effective is this. As you can see, I've used it already, but this is a Mr. Clean Magic Eraser, and it actually does wonders. So how you use it is, it's really simple. You put some water on it first, and then you scrub. So I'll show you. So as you can see, there's names right here, so... You see, it's coming off already. And it's very... And you can see the marker actually attaching to the eraser. I don't know how they do it, but... It works wonders on these cartridges, especially on permanent marker that you can't get off otherwise. So... Try not to get it too wet, I don't want to ruin the cartridge or anything. So I try to use the wet side and the dry side at the same time. Try not to get too much water onto the cartridge because if you do, like the sticker might get ruined. But I also don't like, the sticker can kind of absorb some of the water. It's kind of waterproof so should be okay but as you can see pretty much the, the permanent marker is off all right so you just saw it right there that it just got off all right so I'm not sure if this part will come off we can try no doesn't look like this you see how like it's discoloration I don't know how that happened um, I have tested these and these are the correct this is the correct cartridge like it is the correct game might be that they took I wouldn't be too surprised if uh, the back side is different from the front side so like they took out the back side and replaced it with the with a different uh, back side but anyways um, that's how you clean off permanent marker. That's how I like to clean it off. It works magically, just like <laughs> the name advertises, the magic eraser. So, as you can see, there's like some dirt and grime right here too. Bam. And no, I'm not getting paid by Mr. Clean Magic Eraser, but... Man, like, I just love this product so much that... It, it just works so well. You see on the back right here as well. Bam. Bam. It's like not even that hard to do either, you know? So that's like why I like to do this. You saw how it was earlier, and now look at how it is now. And the last one, this one's pretty messed up in the front. Bam. All right, so you guys can see, clean side, dirty side, right there. Bam. 
So, that's how I clean my video games. If you guys have any uh, questions about the magic eraser or how, what else I do to clean them up. Okay guys, so that's how I clean my N64 cartridges or any cartridges in general. It's just that I have the most uh, N64 cartridges. Um, let me know if you guys have any questions about the magic eraser, how to use it, or the applications of it. Um, I like it a lot, as you can you saw a second ago, how easy it is to clean your N64 cartridges. Um, what techniques do you guys use to clean your cartridges? Let me know in the comment section below. Uh, make sure you like this video, and thanks for watching, guys. Best in West. I'll catch you guys later.